Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Ty Swift here. Today we're going to be making a tier list for the 3D Sonic games. If y'all want to see more things like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button down below. Um, I'm still sick, but I wanted to make this anyway. So yeah, I thought I'd make this today. I didn't feel like reacting to anything tonight, but I wanted to do something different. So let's get into this. And also, so what we're going to be doing is ranking the 3D Sonic games. Um, I will say this, though. This is all just going to be opinions. This is just my opinions personally, so don't take this offensively. Or not, well, not offensively, but you get what I mean. Don't take this the bad way. So, we have Sonic Unleashed, Sonic and the Secret Rings, Sonic Boom, Shadow the Hedgehog, SA2, Sonic Adventure, Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic Colors, Sonic Forces, Sonic Generations, Heroes, Lost World, 3DS, Lost World on Wii U, 06. Um, and we have Sonic Unleash and Sonic Speed Simulator and the Minecraft Sonic. Now, we're, we're going to start off with, um, we're going to start off with Sonic Unleashed. So, oh wait, oh wait, we also have it for the Wii. Um, we're, so we're going to start off with Sonic Unleashed HD. If you want my honest opinion, I think this game deserves to be in the S tier. Because this was, after all, one of my favorite 3D Sonic games. Now, some people say Colors is better, but and, but in my opinion, this is, is the best looking Sonic game. I mean, Colors did also look good, too, but I just feel like Unleash is better when it comes to graphic-wise. Okay, surely the controls can be bad at some points, but it's still an enjoyable Sonic game. And one of the best animated games of all time. Anyway, the next game on the list is Sonic and the Sigur Rings. So, this one is, like a, in my opinion, a heavily underrated one. So, I played this for the Wii a long time ago. Um, I will say this, though. I do feel like this game is heavily underrated for what it was. I don't think it was a bad game. Okay, it wasn't the best game ever, but it wasn't a horrible one. But if you want my honest opinion of where I would put it, I would put it in, like, C. I still think it's a good game, though. I mean, well, it's not the best game ever, but it's not the worst game. Because, I don't know, what I really liked about the game was the music, the bosses, and some of the levels. They just had really good designs and stuff. I feel like Sega did a good job animating it, but I just feel like they could have put more time into 06, though, when that came out, because... I know they were working on Secret Rings and Black Knight during the time of 06. I just feel like they could have... Uh, this game did do better than 06 in some areas. But we'll come, to, we'll come back to that bridge later. Anyway, the next game on the list is Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Personally, I'm going to say this now. This one was a terrible game. I played it a bit, and I absolutely hated it more than anything. Actually, no, I take that back. I do hate something worse. But this game, I personally feel like when it came out, people were hyped for it, but it didn't get the same. It didn't get that. So I'm going to put this in the D tier. And the next game on the list is Shadow the Hedgehog. I will also say, I really, really love the music in this game. Honestly, Shadow the Hedgehog has some of the best Crush 40 music of all time. It's sad that people think it's not the most memorable game, but I still feel like it's one of the best when it comes to music. Because, like, <clears throat> cause like, I don't know why, but this one just had... This game had a lot of good Crush 40 music, like... I, I just can't 
express it, but it just had some good music. It felt like edgy, but still hero-like. It just felt like, well, Shadow. But if you want my opinion of where in the gameplay, it was like okay, but it wasn't the best. But I still think this game had amazing music. But I'm going to put this probably in C. Oh, oops. And then the next one on the list is Sonic Adventure 2. This was one of the first 3D Sonic games. Uh, this is a sequel to SA1. Um, I will put this... This one was created a lot, was nostalgic for me. And one of my first Sonic games I played... Um, this one had really good music, really good gameplay. I think this one deserves to be in the S tier. Next one on the list is Sonic Adventure 1. So, this is the first game bef before SA2. I will say this, this though, I didn't like this one as much as SA2. I mean, I still felt like it was a good game, but... I just felt like SA2 was better in some areas because uh, there were some things in this game that were just a little bit off for me. The cutscenes were really bad when they were ported over. Like, I feel like Sega could have did better on the cutscenes, but they sadly have not done anything about it since. And then the music-wise, I think the music is really good, although... Um, the gameplay is kind of whack in some areas. So, yeah. But it's not terrible to the point where it's not playable. But if you want a uh, player of where I'd put it, I probably would put it in A tier. And then the next game on the list is The Sonic and the Black Knight. So this is a sequel of after uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings. Um, personally, what I have to say about this game is that I think it was a okay game. I think it had a cool storyline and everything, but I feel like the this was like the last game that actually had Crush 40 music in, which was actually sad because this game, in my opinion, had some good Crush 40 music. Like, especially Night of the Wind. It it was one of the best tracks. I just feel like this game, it was a little better than Sigur Rings, but I don't know. I just can't really decide which one's better between the two. I think Sigur Rings was also a good game. I mean, people may say Sigur Rings is a bad game, but I 100% disagree with that. But I think I'll put this in B tier for now. And then the next game we have on the list is Sonic Colors. So this game originally came out on the Wii. Um, it was one of the most visually beautiful looking Sonic games. I will say this though. Um, Sonic Colors, it definitely had some good soundtracks and stuff. And it was cool how we get to use the Wisp and everything. I liked that. Although I still feel like Unleash is a little bit better. Than this game, but I think Colors was also a good game. Although, I'm gonna say this now, I didn't really like the Sonic Colors Ultimate Remaster. I didn't really like it as much as the original, but I still think overall the game's a good game. I, I'm gonna put this in A tier for now. And the next game we got on the list is Sonic Forces. So, this game, eh, it wasn't really a good game. But it wasn't the worst game. Actually, no, I did. So, if I had to put this game somewhere, I'd probably put it in... Uh, but the one thing, only good thing about this game was the music. That was the only good thing about this game. The storyline was absolutely horrible. But that was the one thing I will say. Although, I feel like if they had... Maybe tried more with this game compared to uh, some of the others. It would have been a better game, but they just 
executed the storyline terribly. And also Infinite's character, his storyline was also really weak. But if I had to put this, I probably would put this in, like, C tier. Actually, no, I'm going to put this in D tier. Also, I forgot to do something. All right, there. Uh, the next game we got on the list is Sonic Generations for 360, PS3, and PC. So this was actually 20, the 20th anniversary of Sonic. Hold on. <coughs> Uh, this was the 20th anniversary of Sonic where we went back in time. I think this was one of the best games of all time. I do feel like this game was better when it was presented than Forces. Because if you do look at the presentation for the both generations was better. But it was cool to see how we get to play with both the classic and modern era. I think they did a really good job when they made this game. Because... This game, I think, was the first game to have mods, I think, on Steam. I could be wrong, but I think this game was modded the most. most. Also, another thing, if you're going to make mods for Classic Sonic, you might as well do it in Generations, because Forces, his mods were pretty bad, at least in my opinion. But if I had to... um. Just put this on the list. I put it in S tier. The next game on the list is Sonic Heroes for the GameCube, the PS2, and I think also the Xbox, the original Xbox. So this game was kind of almost like a Sonic Adventure 3 in some sort of way, but it didn't get the same love and support like the others did. This game had quite its moments. Um, it has some amazing music, but the gameplay was kind of bad at some points, but I do feel like this game had some really cool development and had some pretty cool challenges, but I know, I feel like there could have been more to the game and a better storyline, but, but... Sadly, there wasn't so. But if I had to put this, I put this in like B tier for now. Next game we got on the list is Sonic Lost World for the 3DS. I think this game was horrible. I'm sorry, but this game just was absolutely horrible. I hated this game a lot. I just felt like this one and the Wii U version was terrible. They were both just want to be Mario Galaxy games. And also another thing, the controls were just terrible. I didn't like Sonic's physics either. They just were kind of as bad as Forces. Because Sonic's physics in, those, in that game was terrible. But I think I'm going to put this in E tier. And also same as this one. And the next game we got on the list is Sonic 06. So, this was actually one of the, I think this was actually Sega's, one of Sega's worst game. I know people say Sonic Forces is the worst game of all time, but I think this one is much worse. The only good thing about this game, though, was the music. That was the only good, and also Shadow Story. Those were the only good things about this game. That was the only thing I'm going to say. I didn't like the rest of it. But if I had to put this, I probably would put it in E. And then the next one on the list is Sonic Unleashed for the Wii and PS2. So I didn't really like the Wii version and PS2 version, but I like the HD version a lot better because it just felt much better to play than the actual uh, HD. Than the Wii version. The Wii version was kind of lackluster in a couple areas. Also, the graphics were really bad at some point. Because it was just... It was terrible. But the one problem I wish they would have done with the HD version is... Why didn't they port it to PC? Like, I feel like Unleashed on on the PC would be best. But they Sega will not do it. 
But anyway, if I had to put this, I would probably put it in C tier. And the next thing we got on the list is Sonic Speed Simulator for Roblox. So this was actually um, something that Sega actually released quite recent. This game was a really good port for Roblox, but although I think Sega did an absolute good job with it, even if it's just uh, some, um, I will say, I'm just going to call it a DLC pack for Roblox. I think it was really good. Um, I'm going to put this in B tier. I think they did a really good job on it. And then the last on the list is the Minecraft Sonic DLC. So they released a, uh, a pack on the Switch, Wii U, or not Wii U, uh, the Switch, Xbox, and P- PlayStation, and on the PC. They released a pack for Sonic a while ago where it, where it had three levels. I think it did really good. They made an awesome port. If I had to put this, I'd probably put this in A tier. So, yeah, this is the whole tier list. I'm going to probably zoom out a little bit, but I think they did a really good job on this, personally. I just feel like... So, what do y'all think of my tier list? I think it's a, it's a, okay. Um, I will say this. I feel like... There could have been more to Lost World in 06 and Forces and Boom, but there just could have been so much more. And then as for the rest of the games, I think they were all good games. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what you think of this tier list. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button down below, and I will talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.